Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh. <laughs> wow, that was nasty. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a simple fall look for you guys. What makes it fall, obviously, is the boat lip. Um, pretty much went super simple on the eyes. It's just a, you know, oh sorry, crack my knuckles. It is just a wing, most, basically it's just a wing liner with a little bit of uh, color in the crease and a little bit of color over the lid. But you can't really tell because the color on the lid was just to set the foundation that I put on it to even out my discoloration but yeah I just did a super simple like super simple on my lips I did a concoction let me grab all the things I used I used oh if I could grab it May Maybelline no honey this is MAC Night Moth which is just a super dark lip liner this is what that looks like I mixed in smoke purple which is a super dark um, lipstick and I used Colourpop's Ultra Matte Lip in the color LAX and I got this I'm sure there's a let me zoom in so you guys can see that can y'all see that? how dope is that? beautiful right? let me show you my lip I'm sure there is a color that looks exactly like this somewhere but I said you know what I'm just gonna concoct something and just let it roll like that you know what I'm saying let it roll like that okay this intro was super long so let me just cut that out um this is my color I don't think you guys have ever haven't seen it yet I did it like two months ago I just suck at making videos consistently so yeah but that's my color do you guys love it i love it it looks super dark in the camera and the viewfinder like underneath i think it's like my sweatshirt mixed in with the lighting mixed in with the hdness i don't know i don't know y'all i don't know but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see how i got this look please continue to watch oh also disclaimer my lighting in the beginning is a little much it didn't look like this when I was filming. Like, the lighting is now. just wants to get right. So, please bear with me. But it's basically just when I do my face. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm really, really sorry. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, first things first, I'm the, just kidding guys. First things first, I'm going to fill in my brows. I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Chocolate. I did use the color Ebony prior to highlighting my hair. But I want to shade lighter so it wouldn't look as harsh. So yeah, I am also using an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I find that the brushes help a lot when it comes to this dip brow because you can get carried away. Like, it's pretty intense but I love it because it works super quick and easy and it leaves the brows flaky. as you can see well maybe you can't see but I can tell that brow that I'm working on right now is jacked all the way up and I don't want to have anyone fix it because I just don't like I, I can't so the other brow is straight fleeky and this one is just on the struggle bus by itself so just excuse that guys just excuse that Drink some cherry wine. Oh, just slow down. Right now, I am just carving out my brows using some concealer and blending it out with a brush. Now, I am going to color correct using a orange concealer. Um, this concealer is from the Anastasia. What is it called? Anastasia uh, Contour Kit, the cream contour kit. So I just used the orange color in there. And here I realized I didn't even put a primer on. So I used the Smashbox uh, Primer Water. 
uh, let that dry a little bit and then I went in with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless I think it's called um yeah that one right there it works amazing guys if you have oily skin just buy it like don't even look at the price because if you look at the price you may get a little sad but just buy it like if you have greasy oily skin you'd be looking shiny at the end of the day just buy this and it'll work amazing I also put it on my eyelids because my eyelids tend to get very greasy very oily very quickly so yeah I'm gonna go back and color correct over with the um, orange color in the Anastasia cream contour kit now I'm going to use my concealer but then I was like wait a minute um Taylor you're tripping like you're bugging out so what we're gonna do before concealer is foundation now me personally I don't like foundation underneath my nails like on my hand because I'm too messy and I'll forget and then I'll get foundation everywhere so I just splatter it on my face as you guys just saw um that is the fit me by Maybelline um the first one and then the infallible uh was it ever matte poreless something like that they're both the matte drugstore foundations I like to put the infallible in the um, t-zone because I feel like it works a little bit better than the Maybelline one but I still love them both so I'm just gonna blend that out with a expert face brush by um, Real Techniques and then I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender Now we're gonna go move on to concealer. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. It is super blendable. Like I love this. This is my new favorite drugstore concealer. Right after the HD uh, Photogenic Concealer by NYX. These two concealers, I think hands down, are amazing. And I'm just gonna blend these out. Blend these out. I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. Now I'm going to go in and set that. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, however you pronounce it, uh, translucent set it, what Taylor? Translucent setting powder. I'm going to use a Real Technique setting uh, brush to do this. This stuff is super messy, like it gets everywhere as you can see in like, 3, 2, 1, like right up, like it's just everywhere. But it works amazing and it keeps that concealer from creasing. So you just you just gotta deal with it. Now onto the eyes. I'm gonna use the color Morocco um, in the crease, and then I put fudge on the outer corner, um, just to give my eyes a little bit of definition and dimension. And then I'm gonna go in with the color Spoiled all over the lid. I'm just gonna sweep it on there. Nothing too intense. Nothing that grand. Just a little bit of something, something on the eyes. Now on to the wing liner. You guys, I struggled so bad with this wing liner, but hey, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. This is the Lorac uh, felt tip liner in the color black, and I just made just a small little wing on the outside of my eyeball. To mascara you can totally put on false lashes but i just i just don't have time guys i just i don't have time for that 
So I'm just gonna coat, coat, coat my eyelash with mascara. This is the Too Faced, Too Faced, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and then I go in with the what is it, L'Oreal Telescopic right on top. Just throw on millions and millions of coats. In my waterline, I put a Rimmel Scandalized Black. Uh, what is it? Eyeliner, and then to sweep away the powder underneath the eye, the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal, the Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna go in with Mac Middle Life Skin Finish in the color dark. Oh, sorry guys. I know if you don't like eyeballs and stuff like that, it'll probably really gross for you. But anyway, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Mac Middle Life Skin Finish and just sweep that uh, powder from underneath my eyes, and then I'm gonna go in with the Cream Contour Kit again and just carve out my cheekbones and put it along my hairline just to warm up my face. After I have all that blended out, um, I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Dark Deep or Deep Dark. I don't know. It's a shade darker than what I use for under my eyes. Um, I just use that to set the rest of my face because the other one makes me look a little bit too ashy. So I go in and I sweep that to uh, just blend everything together. And then I'm going to go in with the Translucent Setting Powder again and just carve out the contour that I have laid down. For blush, I'm going to use the color uh, Raisin by MAC, and then for highlight, I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca. the lips I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in with the uh, MAC lip liner in the color Night Moth and then I'm going to go in with Smoke Purple on top of that and then ColourPop LAX on top of that. And that's it for the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope this was super simple. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.